temperature record north of the Arctic Circle. This is a reported 38 degrees Celsius, which if you convert it into Fahrenheit is more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The Greenland ice sheet is the second largest body of ice in the world after Antarctica. Rising temperatures driven by climate change mean it's melting. Now scientists have managed to quantify how much and how fast, providing the most complete picture available to date, and it's a worrying one. Since 1992, Greenland has lost 3.8 trillion tons of ice, enough to raise global sea levels by 10.6 millimeters. And the rate of ice loss is speeding up too, from 33 billion tons per year in the 1990s to 254 billion tons per year at the moment. People are more concerned about helping oil companies than helping their own families? I don't think so. I don't think so. This is about our lives. This is about American lives. And it should not be partisan. One year ago, I was waitressing in a taco shop in downtown Manhattan. I just got health insurance for the first time a month ago. This is not an elitist issue. This is a quality of life issue. You want to tell people that their concern and their desire for clean air and clean water is elitist? Tell that to the kids in the South Bronx, which are suffering from the highest rates of childhood asthma in the country. Tell that to the families in Flint, whose kids have their blood is ascending in, in lead levels. Their brains are damaged for the rest of their lives. Call them elitist. Tell, you're telling them that those kids are trying to get on a plane to Davos? People are dying.
Congresswoman Bonnie Watson Coleman and Senator Cory Booker to be able to introduce this bill. Not only would this bill create a pilot program to guarantee jobs in 15 communities across this country, but they will be good jobs. All of these jobs would pay a living wage and provide benefits like health insurance, paid sick leave, and paid family leave. This bill would also prioritize green energy jobs. And I view this bill as a key um, a component of the Green New Deal. This would not only just benefit people currently looking for work, it would raise wages and improve benefits for all workers by introducing competition into the labor market. This is not a democratic or a Republican idea. It's an idea that is overwhelmingly supported by the American people. If we're going to build an economy that works for everyone, we as a nation have a responsibility to make sure that everyone who wants to work can benefit from it. In 1968, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. called on our government to guarantee a job to all people who want to work and are able to work. It's time we make that vision a reality. Who've already jumped in and hundreds of volunteers who've been with us at the various rallies. 
grassroots actions we've been a part of from the youth climate strike to the extinction rebellion actions to the sunrise movement actions uh, and, and tomorrow's actions until we win uh, and secure. We need to be 